Nikolai Reviews Nollywood. Hi, you guys, and thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Nikolai Reviews Not Late Wood. It's your girl, Nikolai. I am alive, yes. I have just been living under a rock for the past few months. I have not been watching my African movies. I've not been reviewing anything. So it's just, it's just, it's just been a struggle for me. But right now, I'm back. I'm good. I have made it my goal to upload at least one movie a week. At least one movie review not any movies but to upload a movie review a week and i'm crossing my fingers and my toes i'm crossing them right now that i can stick to that but just work with me okay we will get there uh today i am going to be reviewing a nigerian movie called thy will be done thy will be done is um directed and produced by obi and Meloye. it's also produced by mary and jaku and executively produced by jason and jaku main actors include uh ramsey noah mercy johnson and mary and jaku herself she's one of the so actors. this movie is about a pastor who is well known and respected in his community he has a grand following in his ministry that's greatly respected um, in this stage of his life, he has been married to his wife, Ma um, Mercy Johnson, for over four years. But their main issue is that they're not able to get pregnant. So uh, we're not sure what exactly the reason is or what led to it, but we do know that her womb has been destroyed. She is still going through a lot um, to make sure that she's able to get pregnant for Ramsey Noah. One day, a lady comes looking for Ramsey and claims to be his wife. That's odd because Mercy is who we know as his wife. He did have a former wife in the past, but she's now deceased. So who could it possibly be? Happens to be that she, the former wife, never died. The former wife is Mary Njoku, and she was kidnapped and suffered a concussion, so she had memory loss and just hadn't been living with Ramsey, hadn't been living with any of her family members for several years. So one day she saw Ramsey Noah on TV preaching and that's how she knew that was her husband and she had to get to her husband. So she did any and everything she could to get to Ramsey Noah. Ramsey Noah now brings uh, Mary into his home. Mercy is highly offended and irritated by this and she does everything in her power to make sure that she gets she gets rid of Mary um, the movie is filled I don't know why the movie is classified as a thriller I definitely wouldn't say it's a thriller in any kind of way but Mercy Johnson um, becomes a little scary <laughs> not in a thriller way I would say but just a little scary but I do understand that's because of her deep-rooted love for Ramsey Noah um, and she basically fights for her man you'll see how in this movie um, she Mary and Ramsey tackle this newfound um, issue and what becomes of it I don't want to ruin it for you but uh, it was an, it was a good a good story overall um, now I'm going to get into what I liked and what I did not like. First of all, I haven't seen Ramsey Noah and Mercy Johnson in a really long time, so I definitely, definitely loved seeing them on the screen. Again, that of course brought smiles and joy, um, you know, to me. I also liked how Mercy Johnson was a badass in this movie. She um, had some military training, so she was that tough, you know, mother type chick that tough mother chick who's been through the dirt been through you know it all and um so she, you don't mess with her i liked um that uh what else did i like um i liked the story i didn't like the plot but the story was good now what i did not like i did not like the plot no 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 there were a lot of confusing scenes in this movie because we didn't get the explanation that we needed for um, various happenings like you know this would happen but you don't necessarily know how it happened you may know why but you don't know how and I would have loved to know how a lot of things happened um, in this movie uh, another thing I didn't like was 
Ram there were some scenes where Ramsey Noah was for me just being a little too Americanized. Uh, you'll see in the movie that one of the wives gets pregnant and he he look what he said he finds out he gets slapped by the other wife and because she's highly you know annoyed that he got the other one pregnant and what he tells the other wife who is now pregnant is I even got whacked in the face for it but it's all good and is happy and jubilating that he's having a child of course I understand the excitement in an African in an African man's heart at the age of 40 for having a child but you wouldn't immediately just react as if like that like you behave as if you have no feelings or no care at all for the other wife like some men are like that but in the way this movie was you know in the, the way he was posed in this movie that wasn't the character I expected to get or see from him um, Oh, there was a scene where the pregnant wife was throwing up. I don't know why we are still throwing up like we are having exorcisms in Nigerian movies. Like, throw up, but with class. It mustn't be so extra and so out. No, like, why? Like, it honestly made me laugh. I, like, because I'm, it's, it's funny. Like, stop. If you're going to throw up in an African movie, just be a little you know, consider it, <laughs> the fact that you're in a movie, and it mustn't always be that it catches you off guard and so off guard that you just lose all control and you're putting your face in directly, you're basically going to the toilet seat, like, that's not how it happens all the time, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, so, there was a scene towards the end where, um, the police gets involved, but, and someone gets killed towards um, the end. My only thing is how can you be, you know, plotting against someone but you don't know or you don't hear police sirens that are coming to you that are looking for you. Like you might not know the police is looking for you, but if you are engaging in a, in a dangerous act and you hear police sirens I think you hear, you, you actually hear police sirens because they're very loud and you would take caution, you know, to be ready. But towards the ending, there was none of that and out of nowhere, someone gets, I'm not saying the person should not have been killed, but in the reality of the life that we live in, you will know if police, if, if the police is coming towards your area if you hear a siren or if there is a siren you will actually know about that I'm just saying um, overall the movie would get a C for me um, it wasn't the worst it wasn't the best just it was there it was just there I'll be honest with you just there um, I enjoyed a few things but I would have loved to see a little bit more in this movie and I would have loved to understand a bit more of the scenes of what was going on in this movie. I would say the main story or the main gist of this movie is don't let jealousy ruin your life. You, yes, can be jealous. It is uncontrollable at times to have that, you know, emotion, but do try your best to maintain it and keep it in a position where you don't ruin or destroy your blessings that are coming your way. You know, don't let jealousy be the only thing that, don't let jealousy lead to that anger and that hate. And you know, you just mess up your life. Um, yeah, I, I think that's it. Um, thank you guys again for coming over to my channel, for clicking on this video, for sticking with me and watching this review. I watched this movie on IrokoTV.com and just be ready for me. I am back and in action. <laughs> Stay tuned for more reviews on Nikolai Reviews in Hollywood. Thank you.